Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it upon as any full advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Going to go a little bit different today because the horrible events that we've seen over in Baltimore actually have an interesting issue for coal. If you have a look, the port of Baltimore is actually the second largest export port for coal in the States. And not only that, it makes up on average about two and a half to maybe even as high as 3% of global supply into the coal market. The majority of which heads to Asia, particularly places like India, Southeast Asia, and some parts of Southern China. With that in mind, what does that therefore do to the coal price in interim? I mean, the big question is how long will the cleanup take? And at the moment, it is completely unknown. You've also got an issue about transportation. Do they try and divert it to the Hunter Cert? Probably not, but again, the catch with that is the cost behind it. Looking at it then from a stock perspective, there is a real chance that in the interim, particularly thermal coal, sees an uptick as that overall supply out of the US is taken out by that horrible disaster. It will also probably mean that customers have to start scrambling to find other avenues to market, considering thermal coal is one of the largest electricity provider for the Asian region. They are gonna to need to top this up. And for that reason, you may see a bit of a movement in the sort of short term around thermal coal providers. You could see it in Whitehaven Coal, Yang Coal, etc. Coal is something that I'm not overly enthusiastic about over the longer term. But this is an interesting scenario just from the economics and what the economics might do to supply and therefore what it does to price. And that's why I think you just need to keep an eye on what goes on in the coal markets, particularly thermal coal, as the Americans try to work out how they're gonna deal with the horrible events out of Baltimore and how they're gonna clean it out.